Okay, so for the next few nights, we're staying at this incredible place. It's a very unique tiny home, just 10 miles away from the Great Smoky Mountain uh, National Park, 30 minutes away from Asheville, North Carolina. And um, it's a pretty exceptional Airbnb. And we love staying at really cool, unique Airbnbs. You might have already seen, we stayed at this incredible castle in Ireland, thanks to Airbnb. And we stayed at an incredible HGTV tiny home as well. But today, we're staying in an original 1926 train caboose car turned into a tiny home. are just unreal. You're totally secluded. It's this private space all to yourself. So this is a 1926 CNO Railway. Um, they actually purchased it from a nonprofit back in like 2015 and it was functioning at the time. So working railway caboose car and everything but obviously now it's turned tiny home and just some really cool things about it. So it's sitting on top of these original 1920s train tracks that are really really cool too. And so when you first get on the property and see it I mean it is just jaw dropping. It has this very storybook feel with the bright red. It totally reminds me of boxcar children but getting an upgrade. <laughs> For those who know boxcar children, you know what I'm talking about. This is a major upgrade. And on the listing, they say it's glamping, but I feel like this is gonna be one of the nicest days of our life. Um, so let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are at station 451. You have this beautiful walkway deck area, and then you come up, and like how authentic and cool is all this? Of course it's authentic, it's real. But how cool is all of this? Welcome to station 451. All aboard! <laughs> just smells amazing too. So when you first walk in, you're greeted by this awesome, very inviting, just hangout living room space. You have some games, you have a nice comfy sofa, and you have some really cute like details. They have details with the clothing hooks. And now you're in the kitchen, and it is a gorgeous kitchen. We have a toaster oven some personalized snacks, a fridge that's stocked with some really cool local brews, and some water and everything. You've got a dishwasher, sink, everything that you need. Um, all of the basic essentials are right in here, a cute little dining area. And what's great about this kitchen area is how high the ceiling actually is. And they have these beautiful skylights all the way around and it's just a very warm, inviting feel. So here you have the bedroom and it is gorgeous. It's a full queen size mattress, memory foam mattress and everything. And you have the original train door right behind you and you can see the ladder out there. You can hear the waterfall, it's just, it's serene. Now, talking about all the essentials, you guys have to come and check out the bathhouse, which they name The Depot. So, The Depot, the bathhouse, is right across the deck from uh, the caboose, and so it's got its own outhouse, its own building, which is really funny because the, the bathroom is actually bigger than the place that we'll be staying in, uh, but just come and look inside. So this entire place is our own private bathroom. Um, even has enough room for seating. It has its uh, closet in here. And what's really cool is some extras that they give you is inside the closet. You have your own uh, bathrobe along with your slippers. And so we can't wait to put those on and relax tonight. Um, and then it has everything that you'd expect from a bathroom. It has its own private uh, toilet, which is nice. Again, it has a door on there, and so you know. 
blocking up the bathroom to be used when uh, somebody's using that. It has a, a double vanity. And then what's really cool about this is it has this giant walk-in shower, which is not just one shower, but two showers. It has a shower on one side and a shower on the other side. And so, yeah, this, this is just so beautiful with the vaulted ceilings. Again, it flows really well with the whole uh, train feel. It has this very like vintage, cottagey, uh, but upscale feel to it. Um, and so, yeah, we're just so pumped about this. Uh, and then one last thing that we want to show you is just the outside because as great as the insides are, we really feel that the outside is almost a room in itself. So right as you come out of the bathhouse, you have this little seating area here, which again with these views is just fantastic. We just can't wait to come out here. We have a couple bucks that we plan to read and just even having the curtains and stuff creating privacy. Um, which you actually don't need because literally we can't see anything around us other than the trees and the mountain. But this whole deck is, is so open and it's the walkway to the caboose. But then around this corner, which is again, like I said, it's like a living room itself. We have a whole seating area with a fireplace, a TV, and then obviously the bubbling sound of the waterfall. Uh, this whole place is just so picturesque. I know Ashley said it, but it really just feels like you just stepped into a storybook. And one other quick thing that I want to show you guys outside, in addition to the depot, is the outdoor shower. So come with me. So right at the back of the property is this outdoor shower. This tree was apparently actually here and they actually just uh, made it into the actual shower. So you guys can see that it has the shower head here, the hot and cold taps right down here. And this just kind of shows you guys the privacy that is out here, like looking out onto just absolutely nothing. And so you can take a shower out in the wilderness and not have to worry about anybody seeing. <laughs> And so let me just take you guys back to the front and I want to show you guys the fire pit. And so right here, as you come in, we have the train caboose right behind you guys and we have our own private fire pit right here. Again, just looking out onto the trees and the mountains. And so we think we'll probably light her up today and have a nice night in. And so that's it. We hope you guys enjoyed this very unique, very special tiny home tour. It doesn't feel like a tiny home at all though. This place is exquisite. We can't believe that we have this entire place to ourselves. And so we really highly recommend you guys checking this out if you're in the area or if you come into North Carolina and wanted to come to the mountains, uh, this place would be a fantastic place to stay. And so if you guys are interested, we will link the Airbnb listing below so you can click that and book this place for yourselves. Again, it is really like a storybook. And so come and check it out. Oh.